Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Some massive news for the Miami Hurricane fans coming out Thursday afternoon as it seemingly is becoming official. Former Michigan State defensive lineman Simeon Barrow Jr. remaining with this Miami Hurricanes program heading into 2024. Now, the Miami fans who've been listening to the boys the last couple of weeks and months, you guys, you guys know that I think this was one of the best pickups Miami made in the transfer portal. That's certainly saying something. As a Michigan fan myself, I've seen firsthand Simeon Barrow Jr. just be a game wrecker against some of the better offensive lines that you saw in the Big Ten in 2023. Now, him returning in 2024, not only is this just a massive player to keep on this Miami Hurricanes roster, it started getting me thinking that this Miami Hurricanes pass rush might be one of the better units that we see in the country. And why I think that is so important is for kind of two reasons. One, you look at the history of college football defenses over the last couple of years. Where does it start for all these elite defenses? It starts on the defensive line, right? You look at Michigan last year, multiple guys go to the NFL draft. A few guys are going to go in 2025. You look at Georgia the last couple of years, the NFL talent that they've produced. There's been one commonality between all these elite defenses and that they can dominate up front and get after the passer. And I look at this Hurricanes program heading into 2024 and say, I mean, how many teams are blocking up this Miami Hurricanes defensive line during the 2024 year? And for all the question marks that we might have about this hurricane secondary, I personally have a hard time seeing a lot of teams, not only in the ACC, but when this team potentially goes to the college football playoffs, how many offensive lines do we feel comfortable are blocking this Hurricanes pass rush in 2024? I think the short answer is not many. Want to get into Simeon Bear Jr., but more importantly, dive into this pass rush unit for this Miami Hurricanes program. What really stands out is not only are you loaded with talent across the line, but there's a lot of versatility. And there's a lot of different combinations that you can have on those third and long situations to get some of your best pass rushers on the field. That's what excites me the most for this Hurricanes program. Fired up to get into it. Before we do it, as always, just want to give a massive shout out to the Miami Hurricane fans. It, y'all know I love talking this program, whether it's on the high school recruiting trail, the transfer portal, the amount of support y'all continue to show to the fellas truly does mean a lot. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Going to be a busy next couple of weeks for the Hurricanes on the recruiting trail. A lot of commitments to break down, but without further ado, Let's get into this Hurricanes pass rush unit. And you look at Simeon Barrow Jr. and say 17 quarterback hurries, a 14% pass rush win rate. Now you look at the stats and say 10 and a half sacks through the last three years at Michigan State. Then you look at that pass rush win rate number and say, I don't think 10 and a half sacks, which is certainly a good number for an interior defensive lineman, even really paints the picture in terms of how disruptive Simeon Barrow Jr. can be as a pass rusher. And I, you make no mistake about it. I mean, Simeon Barrow Jr. is not a liability in the run game. Why did Mario Cristobal bring Simeon Barrow Jr. to Miami? It was to get after the passer. There's not many interior defensive linemen that can get after the passer like Simeon Barrow Jr. can. I think the more exciting conversation for the Miami fans is let's start diving into this pass rush unit for the Hurricanes. We just talked about Simeon Barrow Jr. on the inside of the defensive line. You look at the edge position, let's start with Ruben Bain Jr., one of the best true freshmen we saw in the country last year. You look at the numbers, 26 quarterback hurries, an 18% pass rush win rate. Not only was Ruben Bain Jr. really, really good as a true freshman, you normally see the jumps in play going into year two and year three for these defensive linemen. I think Miami's looking at maybe a more improved Ruben Bain Jr., in 2024. If that's the case, you're looking at one of, if not the best pass rusher in all of college football. And I think what's really fun about Ruben Bain Jr. is he's a guy that he can win at that five tech coming off the edge, but he's also a guy that heavy, heavy hands, big time power in his lower half. He can kick into the three tech on those third and long situations and challenge interior offensive linemen from a more athletic standpoint as well. And what does that allow you to do is potentially get a guy like Elijah Austin or Tyler Barron on the field as well. Talk about another guy that's versatile, Tyler Barron. You look at his pass rush numbers from Tennessee in 2023 in the SEC, 31 quarterback hurries, 
a 17% pass rush win rate. We broke down his film as well. He's another guy that you can get very creative with. You can kick him inside. He even had some really good reps playing head up on the center at that nose tackle position. So you look at Ruben Bain Jr., you look at a guy like Ruben Bain and say, not only can they be elite edge rushers, they can be kind of moved all around the defensive line on those third and long situations. That is a very intriguing proposition for Lance Gidry in this Hurricanes defense. And then you look at a guy in Elijah Austin who is kind of a, doesn't have the versatility that Tyler Bain or Ruben Bain Jr. have. You look at Elijah Austin, say, coming off the edge, there wasn't many better pass rushers in the group of five last year than Elijah Austin. Take a look at his numbers, 22 quarterback hurries, a 20% pass rush win rate. We're talking about all of these guys having 15% or, or greater pass rush, win, pass rush run rates. And that's a hard word to say, pass rush win rates. That is an incredible number. And then you start looking at some other guys on this Hurricanes defense, Akeem Mesidor, another guy that can get it done as an edge rusher. You can kick him into that three tech. You go back to 2022, was arguably the best Miami Hurricanes defensive lineman, a guy that had 16 quarterback curries, a 12% pass rush win rate. You look at Marley Cook, he had 15 quarterback curries on the inside for Middle Tennessee State. And to cap it all off, I think you might have one of the best blitzing linebackers in the country in Francisco Maui Noah. And so you look at, all right, there are certainly not, this isn't a, uh, a Miami Hurricanes team that is without questions heading into 2024. We've kind of highlighted those. A lot of those questions do remain in the back end of that defense. What's the best way to cover up for a secondary that you might have some question marks about? You might have some inexperience. Having a pass rush that can get after the quarterback. You guys have heard me say this. You go back to Kirby Smart in 2021 saying, hey, we got some question marks in our secondary. You see how the 2021 season played out. Those question marks didn't really matter because teams could not attack down the field because they couldn't block Georgia up front in the pass rush. And I think the last part that I think really is intriguing for Miami fans is we talked about what, six or seven guys that can get it done in the pass rush department. There could be more. You take a look at the true freshman class that's coming in for Miami. You start looking at the inside first, a guy like Justin Scott. We didn't get to see him during spring ball, but what we what did we say when Justin Scott flipped his commitment to Miami? We said, this is a day one ready guy. We just saw Ruben Bain take over the ACC as a true freshman. Justin Scott certainly has that capability from the inside of this defensive line. You look at another guy with Armando Blunt, somebody that you can move all along the defensive line. Certainly capability to be a, a contributor in the pass rush year one. Then you look at Marquise Lightfoot, five-star prospect on the edge. You look at Booker Pickett Jr., one of the more prolific pass rushers we've seen come out of the state of Florida at the high school level, had over 70 sacks during his career. I'm not saying that Marquise Lightfoot, Booker Pickett Jr. are going to be starters for this Hurricanes program, but you have a guy in Booker Pickett Jr. specifically who has shown to be an elite pass rusher testing tackles off the edge. He's a guy that in those third and long situations, we're probably not going to ask him to stop the run much because he's got to put on some weight. But in terms of, hey, big dog, we got to have you pin your ears back, get after the passer, and he certainly can do that. I think that this Miami Hurricanes pass rush has the chance to be extremely special in 2024. And again, when you look at the teams that have done really good things in college football, specifically on the defensive side of the football, it starts with a pass rush. And you can have questions all over the field. If you have a defensive line that can stop the run on first and second down, get after the passer on third down, it gets so much easier to play defense and you look at this Hurricanes defense in 2024, I think that is kind of going to be the mold. I think that's what Mario Cristobal has been building on the recruiting trail. There's been a strong emphasis to bring in elite caliber guys on the defensive line. I think you have a chance to see it pay off in 2024. Not only some veteran proven talent, but guys that are kind of coming through the pipes that certainly could break out as well. Fired up about this one. Big time news that Simeon Barrow Jr. coming back to Miami. Appreciate you guys rocking with the boys. A fun team to talk about in the offseason. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. And we'll talk to y'all later. Peace.